Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to show you my entire location flash kit. All my previous videos have shown bits and pieces of it. Today I'm gonna to tie it all together and show everything I carry when I go on location where I'm gonna be using flash. I'm going to show you how just this small lighting kit that I carry with me allows me to shoot 80 to 90% of my location sessions indoors or out, full sun or shade. It's extremely versatile. I've evolved this kit over the years. I didn't just pull this together overnight. A lot of hard experience went into creating this kit. Let's get into what's in it. All right, let's get into the kit. The first thing you're gonna see when I show you and demonstrate what's in it is that there are no large strobes in my basic kit. Do I use them? Occasionally I do. When I have to shoot a large group, yeah, of course I'll need a large strobe, but over 90% of the time, that's just not what I'm doing. Over 90% of the time, I'm shooting an individual to a small to moderate family, and the kit I'm gonna show you covers that beautifully indoors or out, sun or shade. You've seen various parts of this kit in my videos before now, but today I'm gonna to show you all the pieces of my location flash kit. I have pulled this kit together after many years of hauling around all kinds of flashes and all kinds of situations, and this is the one that just works simply, easily, and gives beautiful light. Let's start at the top with the AD200 Pro. The AD200 Pro or the Evolve 200, which I have here, it's the same flash, it has 200 watt seconds of power. It has multiple flash heads, including a Fresnel and a bare bulb. It has a built-in 2.4 gigahertz wireless control system, which is really cool. It's lightweight, has fast firing rate, good battery capacity, has a nice stable color temperature and a nice range of accessories. With the right modifier, this flash has no problem punching through on a bright sunny day. Next we have the TT-685-2 speed light. The TT-685-2 is a lower cost speed light that's compatible with the Canon models. It has a full TTL capability, though I seldom use that. It also has the built-in 2.4 gigahertz wireless control, a guide number of 197 feet at ISO 100, whatever that means, I hate guide numbers. Let's just say it's the same power as the Canon 600EX. The X-Pro trigger is the on-camera way to control all the flashes remotely. I'm using the Adorama version, the R2, but functionally they're exactly the same and they make life completely painless to control multiple flashes right from the camera position. A huge time saver that helps your setup go so much faster. Equally as important as the flashes are the modifiers I carry. First for the AD200 I carry two modifiers. One is a small softbox. This softbox can also work with the TT-685 if needed. Next, I use a small dish with a diffuser. To mount either the AD200 or the TT-685, I have this Godox softbox adapter, which is perfect to use with the softbox or to hold the flash with the small dome. I also carry this small cold shoe adapter to mount the 685 if I'm using it as a second flash. And this also has the umbrella mounting option. A couple of Godox stands complete the kit and I'm good to go. There you go, that's the basic kit that I almost always take on location, indoors, outdoors, it works for either. Super lightweight, easy to carry and provides great light. If you have followed the channel for any length of time, you've seen quite a few images I've shot with this kit, including one in a cave. I'm going to leave a link to my other videos where flashes are explained in more detail. If you have any questions about any piece of the kit or would like to see a video doing more detail, just let me know. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. I really appreciate it. Until the next video, cheers. <music>